self-transformation program here. You will learn yoga, chakras, meditation, healthy eating. In addition, you will have access to music to relax and escape the chaos without leaving home with 100% online content taught by the renowned Yogi Sadhguru. Start on this inner journey today. The best way to regenerate your spine would be by doing yoga namaskar. It has all-round benefits for the entire body. Yoga Namaskar is a powerful system by itself. It activates the lumbar region of the spine in a tremendous way, strengthens the muscles along the spine, giving it a reinforcement so that as one ages, the collapsing of the spine which causes pinching of the nerves does not happen. And if already there's damage is setting in, the best way to regenerate your spine would be by doing yoga namaskar. It has all-round benefits for the entire body. Yoga namaskar is a very simple and complete process by itself. Your own cubicle, you don't get into anybody's space. You carry your own little space wherever you go. Otherwise, you restrict yourself. But the important thing is that all the chakras are on means you can simply transmit anything that you wish. The problem is always of receptivity. In the past I've been saying this, I have initiated more people into meditativeness, those that I have never met and seen, than people that I sit with and conduct programs with. We've conducted programs at the most for a few million people, but we've initiated many, many more people. They're meditative, but many fools do not know they can meditate. When they sit, not for meditation, they don't even know that they must meditate. If they sit somewhere, their experience of everything is way better than others, but many of them still don't have the brain to understand that they are naturally becoming meditative without any effort. Somehow, and they sit down, others don't sit down, but their experience of life is way better because they're meditative in nature, because they've been initiated directly want to bring back physical yoga in its purest form, not the studio yoga, not the book yoga, not the kind of things that are being done, they were done in the world, proper classical yoga, which is a phenomenally powerful science. So what makes something classical is, one thing is the period of its existence, which definitely all yoga has. In a specific form, if it has existed for a period, and another thing for a language is that it must have a substantial body of literature. The Hatha Yoga, as we are teaching, this is not happening now, this has happened for millennia in this form. Because the significance of this lineage is, this is a lineage which clearly understands we are dumb idiots. Like never before, distortions are also happening to yoga, serious distortions. Most ridiculous distortions are happening. So at a time like this, going out in the world and offering The practice, as you see it, the mechanics of it, is simply the body. You have to breathe life into it, otherwise it will not become alive. This is why in the traditions there's been so much stress in the life room to make it alive. We 
want to build people who are, who are willing to invest their life into the profoundness of yoga, not getting fancy benefits out of it, not hanging onto a chair or a tree and thinking you're doing yoga. So, to bring back that dimension and that's not going to happen by instruction only. A phenomenal energy is needed, otherwise yoga cannot be taught. One hundred and fourteen or fully on means you and him will be same, no difference. If you become receptive, I don't have to come, I come here and explain things to you, somebody need not teach you how to bend, what to do, nothing. You will know everything about human mechanism, everything, from its origin to its ultimate. Ah uh -huh.